Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 23rd through March 1st tarot check. So this is a weekly tarot check for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I'm going to give you a day-by-day -day Rider weight reading and then at the end I'm going to give you a couple clarifiers, one with the Whispers of Love Oracle and the other one with Abraham Hicks, Money and the Law of Attraction cards. Because sometimes with the Rider weight the cards will pull in one direction and it's pretty tough to get anything out of it other than this one direction. So I know sometimes people are looking for love and it's all about money or the other way around and I want to give that to you too. So thank you so much for all of, to all of you who have been subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting on my videos. I so appreciate you and I'm having such a fun time co-creating with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit that bell to be notified when new videos are posted, okay? So here we go for cancer. Now remember you guys, time is fluid. Um, if I get a time prediction that's outside of this week, I'll give it to you, but um, know that sometimes this doesn't all occur in a week, so it may be spread out a little bit, but we'll see. So we go day, day by day, okay? So this is Sunday, Monday, wow. Tuesday, nice week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Holy cats. Wow, you guys. I This is love. I'm sorry, but for those of you that are here for money, I don't, I'm going to give you your, your law of attraction card at the end, but this is going to be tough to read in another way. This, you, this is beautiful. What a beautiful reading. I mean, talk about power. I just have chills right now. This is awesome, Cancer. So you start off on Sunday, what a great card, with the Magician. This is all about infinite abundance and possibilities. And if you are single right now, you're not going to be for long. And it's going to come in and it's going to be like a love of a lifetime. Okay, for those of you um, who are single. Now, if you're looking to reunite, there's potential there too. And if you do, you're not going to separate again. Um, if it's been an in and out thing, it's going to be an on thing. And it's going to be fresh. There's going to be a newness about it. But um, I don't feel like this is all going to conclude this week. But for somebody here who's really ready to manifest love, you are on the right track. I don't know who this is for, but somebody is very clear in their intentions. I, have, I don't think I've ever had cards aligned quite like this before. So you've got everything you need. The magician has all the tools. They've got the pentacles, the cups, the swords, and the wands. Okay, they've got every single element represented here and every single tool that they need. Now, Monday yields a fresh new energy. And I think if you've been working on yourself, cancer with like health or fitness, you're looking good. It's paying off. There's results there. You're, you've got a glow about you. Your skin is healthy. And it's like you're ready for spring, you know, when we get into the grayness of the winter. I do feel like for some of you, this relationship is going to be more like in the spring where you're going to meet somebody or you're going to be reconnected with somebody. Could be in March, um, but I feel like it could be more like April, May because of just the energy of this card. But this is about springtime. So know that the things that you're doing right now are setting the stage for this, okay? So don't be impatient if you start to get a little bit wonky and feeling like, is this ever going to happen for me? It's coming, okay? It definitely is. So that's Monday. Then Tuesday, um, this is where some of you are going to get some communication. This is all about a big offer. And this is somebody who's going to come forward. Either they're going to ask you out or it's somebody from the past who's going to bring forward communication. It's not going to be aggressive but it's definitely going to be a more direct form of communication, like some kind of a text or a message. It's not going to be um, some chance meeting that was, you know, they're trying to secretly arrange or some crap like that. This is somebody who's direct. They love you. If it's from the past, this person has always had love for you. And they might have dated people, you might have dated people, but they have never had... It, it just has not been the same. And there's been a part of them that has compared every single person to you and they've all fallen short. And it's like they can't quite get past that and I'm not, I can't quite feel what happened in the thing. Like 
I don't feel like it was anybody cheating on each other. I feel like it was maybe more immaturity at play. Um, I, it was nothing like really reprehensible, but um, yeah, so this is Wednesday for you. Okay, so the Queen of Wands, she sits very pretty and she's just a beautiful energy. So this is again, goes a lot with the Empress where you feel good about who you are, what you're doing, you're on the right path. Your ideas are, you know, inspired. It's like when you're talking, people definitely are listening to you and being appreciative, being around you. I do feel like you have a potential this week to just get a lot of compliments, like at work where, you know, people even kind of say, I don't know what we'd do without you. My gosh, this whole place would fall apart. Things like that. It's that kind of energy. So this is Thursday. And this is the lovers. This is Gemini. And this is where I feel like if that person has not come forward, they're definitely longing for you. This would be a very good day to meditate and set some intentions, send out some energy towards them. Here's what I would do. If it's somebody from the past that you're interested in, I would, I would kind of like run a, a movie in your head of some times that you spent with this person that were really fun and loving and deep. If that's you and you, you feel like there's an ex that is coming back, don't let your think, self think about anything negative, okay? It needs to be all those deeply connected things that have occurred. Now, for some of you who it's a new person, this is coming closer if they are not here already. If you've got a new relationship co coming in that's already kind of started, it's going forward for sure. Um, okay, so this is Friday. And again, this is all about being victorious. You are like higher than a kite with this. Um, there's a feeling, and even if it hasn't quite manifested, you're getting into the right frequency of it. You're getting on that high vibrational love frequency. And so, I mean, look at you know how this person's posturing and it's like nothing can bring them down. That's how you're gonna be. And I feel like there is somebody out there who has kept their feelings hidden from you and they want to reveal them, they want to come forward. They're just not quite sure of the right way to do it. They're just a little cautious. Um, they don't want to hurt you, or if it's somebody, again, if it's somebody new, they're not quite sure how you're gonna react. They might, are, might already be somebody that you know. Um, but either way, you have a great energy here. So if you are inclined to go out, you should. Okay, there would be, there's going to be fun to be had. And this could also be for some of you how you meet somebody. And then on Saturday, again, this is the high priestess. So this is earth energy. Um, but here is where you are very intuitively guided. It's like you just, things just seem to unfold for you. The next thing lines up and the next thing lines up. And this is again where I feel like this person could have feelings that they've kept hidden from you if it's somebody from the past. Um, it could possibly be somebody who was even from a couple years ago that just has not gotten over you. That's what I keep getting for this. It's like they still have love for you. Um, and it could be somebody that you've been in communication with, but you haven't really been within a physical relationship for a couple years. And if that's the case, they would very much like to pursue that with you. They're just not quite sure how. And there's a little bit of a pride factor with them. Um, something tells me that if you go forward towards them, they are going to not immediately reveal, okay? You're better off letting them come forward to you in some way because I think that there's definitely a pride and ego piece in this that's holding it off. You know, so continue to connect with your higher self, with your source energy, align with that, because generally what blocks us is our disconnection from that source energy. Here's where you get that leap of faith. Okay, this is all about starting, and this is Sunday, so um, March 1st. This is all about starting that fresh, new, clean slate. This is a beautiful new energy that comes in, and it's all about you taking a leap of faith and this is where again I feel like it can be somebody from the past for sure because um, you know if you've had something in the past that ended you know there can be a little bit of trepidation with that but with the fool with the fool the fool doesn't feel that way where like the chariot will move forward but with 
kind of a guardedness. The fool does not experience that, okay? The fool is very carefree. And it could be like you feel like a couple of like kids again. I mean, you have a lot of great manifestation cards in this reading too, especially with the magician and the fool. I like to see them together. And the fool also symbolizes truth. So if there needs to be some, you know, conversation involved, some honest conversation where the high priestess starts to reveal those feelings, the fool brings that to a close, okay? Again, this is all about victory too. So I definitely feel like um, you've got unlimited potential too with the number zero here. This is a relationship that's meant to last, okay? So very nice reading for you guys that are looking for love because you're looking in the right places this time. Here is your Whispers of Love Oracle card. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So this person, if they have love languages, if you've ever done that, they may be somebody that one of their love languages is a small gift, and that's fine. You know, we're not talking about paying somebody's car note or their rent or something. Um, so that may be something to think about, too, if you do have a reconnection or if you've got a new connection. And here is your Abraham Hicks Law of Attraction card. Achieving success is my natural birthright. You are meant to succeed and failure should feel bad to you. Life is supposed to go well for you and when it does not, there is something wrong. But what is wrong is not something that is outside of you over which you have no control. What is wrong is within you and you do have control. And taking control is not difficult to do once you understand the basis of who you are the basics of the law of attraction and the value of your personal emotional guidance system. So if you've never looked up the um, emotional vibration scale, that might be a good thing to Google so you can reach for better feeling thoughts and guide yourself because the highest vibrational frequency is love. All right, so if that's what you want to attract, that's where your frequency needs to be. Now money is also on a very high frequency. It moves fast. If you think of places that have um, you know, high volumes of commerce like the Boston Harbor or Wall Street or something. There's speed there, isn't there? So you got to raise your frequency um, and great things will come to pass for you. So um, I love you, Cancer. I'm happy for you. This is an awesome reading and I will be back in a week for your March 2020 reading.